प्रसार भारती अभिलेखा गा की प्रस्तुति सदा बहार सुनहरे दौर का अनमोल खजाना ജസ് and uh, i was enamored of i came into theater with poetry and uh, my poetry is known for its rustic idiom and in fact reading poems in public places along with friends uh, was the first work theater work which i started actually it was reading poems which resulted in a theater which was uh, which was known as tanada nadagam or our own theater shakti prasahada bhindi pala shu dusra pil kadangal talli adadami yatadavyam dadami yatadavyam dadami Tadami, 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 tadami. Go sagar sam tadami, go sagar sam tadami. Kula badam sagar sam, chil chara bimarsi. Kula badam sagar sam, chil. sanskrit theater because sanskrit theater especially bhasha's plays offer challenge to theater people a lot of challenges to theater people and uh, these plays are done in with a contemporary stress even kalidasa also was done like that but bhasha was attracting our attention and uh, we have done about half a dozen plays of bhasha out of the 13 trivandrum plays 13 plays known as bhasha plays we have done six plays and these six productions have given us opportunity to 
interact with the Indian theatre concepts in practice? This was the basic question, uh, in, in basic, basic problem with us in selecting uh, Sanskrit plays, Bhasa plays. And Bhasa's plays are noted for their action-oriented quality, especially uh, Karnabharam, Urubhangam, all these plays have given us opportunity or rather challenges uh, to deal with the text, to treat the text in such a way that it uh, can be interpreted in the modern contextual or rather modern relevance. This is the reason uh, mainly why we have done Sanskrit theatre. But along with Sanskrit theatre, we have all, all through these years, we have been doing theatre productions in our own language, Malayalam. Always this enriched, the experience in san doing Sanskrit plays has definitely en enriched us in doing contemporary Malayalam plays. So this was a give and take, uh, always it was there in our theatre experience. helps us as a parental form of many art forms. It helps us to create a language for theatre. Probably uh, you can say not even language, it is the aksharamala, the, 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 the you know, vocabulary for theatre, the grammar for theatre, because it is always changing. It is not like an established traditional art form like Kathakali. Kathakali has a grammar, it has got a, a gesture, language, all this is there. So here in theatre we have to 
we have to do a totally it's not an art form you get a text and the text has to be interpreted to the contemporary audience uh-huh. where you don't use kathakali kathakali or any art form uh-huh. established art form uh-huh. is of no use to us for example we never used to take a kathakali actor as our actor uh-huh. whereas a kalari actor is useful because for creating a language of the body language with the body uh-huh. kalari actor is useful because kalari is something which works as a as a, you know as useful for in other form like uh, theyam is influenced by kalari kathakali is influenced by kalari or oh, many forms are influenced by kalari being a parent form whereas this criticism that we are taking elements from kalari kathakali or as, or or kudiyattam okay. is completely wrong and a form like kathakali laden with color it's so colorful oh. theater will get totally drowned in such a form and we don't take the the grammar of kathakali as such or grammar of kudiyattam as such in doing theater dipa are engal onnu deyo vaakalliya pattu ani paara ullathu maarore a a a a da varunallo komaalu thambran a ayya hari ayya 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 in doing a play like urubhangam of of bhasa i have uh, interpreted the play to the contemporary uh, sensibility the aesthetics which inspired me uh, to the to to interpret it to the contemporary audience how i did was i used uh, bhasa has used duryodhana he has specifically called the character duryodhana and not suryodhana and uh, duryodhana is facing his death his both thighs are broken and he is facing death so when he is facing death whatever that he thinks whatever that he feels everything is uh, he is in a realizing mood and he is even anti war i mean he has a feeling that the whole exercise of war which he had been waging was wrong and he should take to a peace i mean this is this is part of the interpretation side of my production and so i wanted to make this duryodhana the other part of duryodhana the 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 better side of duryodhana uh, i wanted to depict as so, uh, duryodhana as suryodhana also the duryodhana from duryodhana at the moment when he is he he is broken he is his his thighs are broken and he falls down there emerges from him the suyodhana in him so another character was created for which i used the 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 popular form teyam the teyam of duryodhana is suyodhana
is the Tayyam of Duryodhana, which we call Suryodhana. He is emerging and is growing from within you. As you know, this is a portion from Teya Teya. <coughs> See, we have used the rhythm, which is seven beats, Takkita Takka Dhimi. And what is the visual? See, this music goes with the visual. Otherwise, there is no point in having a song in our play. Why should we have a song in the play? It's not for the sake of singing a song. It is for bringing uh, communicating an idea through the medium of music. There, you know, the rhythm should uh, be designed in such a way as to suit the idea. What is the idea here? This is a this is a canoe. You are as actors. You are describing how this Farangi, the character, is traveling and reaching the shores in a canoe. So you are creating the picture of a canoe, the waves and you know all the movements which would suit the visuals. So takita takka dhimmi, takita takka dhimmi and then the visuals only can justify the music or the music should justify the visuals. So we have designed the whole thing, conceived the whole thing as yeah, as a total thing, visual and and sound. The sound always has to justify the visual and vice versa. So that it should be an integral part, it should be an organic whole. This is how we design our music in our theatre and this is theatre music. <laughs> Sometimes the art may be for just enjoyment. Sometimes it may be for, I mean, the art will be didactic to communicate ideas and through ideas to improve the lot of human beings. So there are several layers and several purposes for art. So the mind, when you take human mind, 
it has got several layers and the indian art is uh, very very specific in this aspect that uh, you have the mind the the, the koshas of the mind uh, like the buddhimaya kosha or uh, the manomaya kosha pranamaya kosha and then um, you know the the worldly affairs are communicated uh, through art but it reaches the human mind on several through several layers and finally you can speak about the sublimity a sort of anandamaya kosha as uh, anand kumara swami has put it this uh, the, this this aspect of all these aspects of art are involved in the in 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 theater also you cannot theater cannot be separated from this a common purpose of art and uh, you know theater uh, combined all these purposes are combined especially in theater which is a, an a, a which is a which is a composite art where you use music where you, you, you use dance that means the body and the body language and then the then the text will be used the purpose of the text the social commitment of the playwright Uh, all these things ha- has to be taken they uh, everything has to be taken in uh, in in, its, in their totality uh, a holistic approach is inevitable in theatre titanam teyannam kargutin dinnam taro kargu titanam teyannam kargutin dinnam taro titanam teyannam kargutin dinnam taro